In order to write the Lewis structure for NaCl, we need to realize first that sodium is a metal and chlorine is a nonmetal. That means we'll have an ionic compound. Ionic compounds transfer electrons when they form chemical bonds. We also need to know that sodium is in group 1 or 1A and it has one valence electron. Chlorine in group 17 or 7A has seven valence electrons. So we have sodium with its one valence electron and chlorine has its seven valence electrons and the sodium is going to transfer its one electron to the chlorine. When it does that, the chlorine now has eight valence electrons, so it has an octet with a full outer shell. The sodium lost an electron, and electrons are negative. So when the sodium lost that negative, it became positive. The chlorine gained an electron, so now it has a negative charge. And that positive and negative, they will attract to form a chemical bond. And we'll draw it like this. So we'll have the positive on the sodium, we'll put the chlorine in the brackets with all eight electrons now, and a negative sign. So that's the Lewis structure for NaCl. The chlorine has an octet, but what about the sodium? Well, we can write a simple Bohr diagram to show the electrons and how they're distributed around the nucleus of the sodium atom. Sodium has 11 electrons, but only one of them is in the outer shell, and that's the one that we transferred to chlorine. When we did that, that outer shell on the sodium, it's empty, so it's really not there anymore. That effectively means that sodium now has a full outer shell. The chlorine has a full outer shell, and they bond together to form sodium chloride. So that's the Lewis structure for sodium chloride. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.